Yo, what is up, guys? It's uh, Monday, a little bit, little bit after two. Um, I took the day off because Tonka and I both had kind of a uh, rough night last night. You know, I, I tossed and turned, and she ended up puking in the bed. So I started the uh, started the sheets in the middle of the bed in the washer, and um, ended up throwing a couple blankets on the on the couch, and uh, we slept in there the rest of the night. So with that being said, I went ahead and took. Uh, the day off I got some uh, got some running done this morning while she rested um, so I got home she seemed to feel much much better she was up running around uh, so I changed clothes and now I just pulled into Planet Fitness so day one of my two to three day uh, goal for this week of getting to the gym. I'm going to go in there, probably knock out some cardio, uh, do a little bit of weightlifting. We'll see, see how I feel. Um, and I did weigh in this morning at 222.8. So uh, I guess um, I'll revise that goal to say stay 222.8 or uh, lower for the rest, or yeah, 222.8 uh, for the rest of the week. And uh, so yeah, I'm going to go knock this out and um, go home see how Tonka's feeling. If she's still feeling alright, I'm going to throw some jeans on and um, take her to this place actually right up the street from the Planet Fitness called um, Paradise Creek uh, Nature Park or Nature Reserve, I don't know. I don't know. Take her on a little walk, test out the new uh, new platform in the back. So alright, I'm going to go hit this. I'll, uh, I'll check with you guys later. What's up guys, I just left Planet Fitness and uh, I was only in there maybe 40 minutes, I think. Uh, I forgot the actual time that I went in, but uh, man, I am spent. I did about uh, 15 minutes on the stair climber um, and then I moved over to the, uh, the weight machines. I didn't do free weights uh, because it's been so long since I've actually lifted weights. So uh, I, I felt a bit more comfortable with the free weights, I mean with the uh, machine weights. So I did a leg press, I did the, uh, the hamstring curls, I did the leg extension, I did uh, calves, which remind me how bad of an idea this was tomorrow when I'm climbing three, ste three sets of stairs to my office. Yeah, I'm gonna be hurt. Uh, then I moved over to arms. You know, I did shoulders, I did biceps, I did chest, uh, triceps, and back. And then I finished up like five more minutes on the stair climber just to, uh, I don't know, I guess part of a cool down. Uh, man, walking out sucked. So anyway, uh, it's beautiful out, so I'm gonna head home. Uh, throw some cheese on real quick, cause I'm not sure what, what condition that part, the nature park is in. I don't wanna get uh, bugs or anything all over my legs. And I'm gonna grab Tonka and we're gonna, we're gonna head for a walk on the trail. So I uh, hope you guys are having a great day. I'll check in with you later. Hey, there you are. All right, so uh, we're here. And she's, first time she's been here. Uh, I, I came here once, like uh, when I first got my Fitbit and I was trying to get some steps in. Um, I, I like this place, it's, it's really nothing. Come on, let's go this way, come on, easy. It's really nothing like spectacular and I don't mean that in a bad way. You know, it's just a, you know, plain Jane, just, you know, a bunch of trees and they cut some paths in. Tonka, easy be easy uh but it's 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 good to get out and walk you know it's a it's only about i don't know three miles from my house um dog friendly obviously you know they have uh they have post uh pretty much spread throughout here for uh uh with uh doggy bags um i mean i brought my own because i of course you don't want to leave dog poop anywhere but um man i'm i'm already sore from that workout so it'll be good to get out and like uh stretch these legs a bit and uh she seems to be feeling better so i'm gonna keep an eye on her and uh see how everything goes out here and um I'm starting to get hungry man i ate breakfast and a cup of coffee about 7 30 this morning and then about uh noon i had a, a cup of coffee from starbucks i had a uh what do they call the large a venti yeah, I had a venti, uh, unsweetened iced coffee with heavy whipping cream and uh, 
sugar-free cinnamon dolce, which is so damn good. Uh, and that's kind of held me over. But uh, between the workout and being so long since I had like actual food, my belly's starting to rumble. And uh, it's getting to be right around her feeding time as well. And oh, ooh, I'm not gonna show you that. Uh, she's got some nasty poops. So, all right, well, we're gonna walk around a bit. Here's a little bit better view. I mean, yeah, <laughs> nothing like a, uh, a factory plant in the background, but hey, whatever, it's a beautiful day. It's, uh, I don't know, probably 60 degrees. I'm probably overdressed with this uh, windbreaker, but um, I was sweating pretty bad when I left the gym, so I don't want to get too cold out here. So, all right, well, I'm gonna go clean this poop up. Hooray me. And um, I don't know, I'll probably check with you guys later. Yo, what's up guys? It's about uh, 5.30. Uh, this is probably be the, the last video of the night so I can put all these together. Uh, brought Tonka home from our little nature walk and um, uh, fed her. I ate my dinner. Had a couple hamburger patties with some cheese and some asparagus and some uh, peppers and onions, man. It was, uh, it was pretty good. Oh, goodness. And look who wanted to say hi. Um, I'll post up a couple pictures. Took one of uh, of the two of us. Okay, get back. Get back, sweetheart. And then uh, I took one uh, when we got home and you know, started to relax a little bit after we ate. And uh, poor girl was passed out dead asleep on me. So um, I'll throw those up, you know, right around here. So, uh, yeah, overall, it was, it was a good day. She's feeling better. Uh, we're both we're both tired, you know. It's like she has about a get about her eighth eighth uh, spurt of energy right now. Um, so we're just gonna relax the rest of the night. Um, one thing I, I wanted to get kind of serious real quick, and I know I don't usually do this on the on this channel, but uh, I read yesterday in the paper where a guy I grew up with uh, playing baseball, and uh, that also. I've worked with in the shipyard um, Saturday night, you know, St. Patrick's Day. Uh, decided to get behind the wheel of his truck, uh, drunk. Um, he ended up going the wrong way on an interstate ramp, I believe. Like, I can't remember the exact details, but he ended up hitting another vehicle head on. Um, everything I've read said everybody's gonna be okay. But um, that could have been a lot worse. And uh, there's three people and numerous lives that could have been affected. And I'm not going to sit here and be all preachy, judgy. I'm, I'm not, because I'm sure at least 90% of the population, myself included, uh, have um, jumped behind the wheel when we shouldn't have. I know there's been a couple times when I've left the bar, not even feeling drunk, but it's like after I get home, it all of a sudden hits me. Well, what, hap what would have happened had it hit me when I was driving. Um, so, please guys, just, just think of your actions and I want to make sure I think of mine. And there's, uh, there's numerous ways to get home now without hopping behind the wheel. Friends, family, Lyft, Uber, taxi. I'm sure you can even call some police department to say, look, I don't want to drive, what can I do? And they'd be able to help. So, that's it. I'm going to jump off that soapbox now, but, you know, just think about everything, guys. So, all right, I'm going to, I'm going to sign off so I can, uh, <laughs> so I can put these videos together. Look at this dog. Yeah. She doesn't leave my side much. So, all right. Y'all have a good one. I'll talk to y'all later. Peace.